amphibian lovers, it's Amphibian Boss here, and I am really excited because today uh, is, I actually have more than 100 subscribers, but I finally have the time since I just got home from my holiday to make a 100 subscriber uh, episode where I answer and you give me questions and I answer your questions and I also give you a shout out for your channel. So let's get started. Uh, my first question was Norwegian Wolf 24's terrariums, and actually I didn't uh, tell you guys this yet. This is my new terrarium. Uh, my brother and I, this is actually in my brother's room, not in my room, because he's taking care, he's not taking care of it, he's just keeping it in his room. Um, I just decided he might as well have uh, Amphibian 2, but it is our sharing. Uh, so I just want to do a shout out to my brother too. Thanks, Braden. If you want to be on this video, you can. Okay, he's not. He doesn't want to talk. Uh, in here is a White's tree frog. We got this from someone. My friend's great grandma passed away, and she owned this frog. And this frog, he didn't want to take care of it, so he said, "Do you want it?" And I said, "Awesome, sure." So now we have White's tree frog. Now this thing's already eight years old, eight to ten years old. So it's half its life cycle already. We still have around 10 years uh, with him, which is a long time to keep a frog. So he is old, he's not brand new, but we got all this stuff for free, the frog for free. Uh, I just put dirt and rocks in it. But further, without further ado, let's start. Okay, my first question was from Norwegian Wolf 24's Terrariums. And his question was, what exotic amphibian or reptile would you want? So I took this in consideration that it was an amphibian or a reptile, but I took in consideration to say my favorite amphibian and my favorite reptile. These aren't my dream, but these are probably my favorite so far that I would like to get. Uh, for amphibian, I'd like to get a tiger salamander. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, we used to have them in Ontario, but they actually disappeared. They don't live here anymore, but they do live in other places in Canada. And an albino, Argentine, black and white tagu. Now, if you haven't seen them before, their uh, underground reptiles has them. Uh, they're quite cool. I always like tagus. So these are what I would like to get. Now, my second question was from Collins Reptiles. And he said, what's your dream amphibian? So I took this in consideration what any amphibian in the world I would keep. Uh, this is a Japanese giant salamander. If you haven't seen one of these before, I'd suggest looking one up. The largest amphibian in the world. They live in Japan, and they're actually on the top 10 list of endangered animals. So they're, they're not pets. But I think it would be very cool to have a huge pond just full of them in my backyard or in my basement or something, have a big pond full of these things because I think they're really, really cool. Uh, my third question was from Japan Herping Channel. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, I asked him if he would give me a uh, give me a question and he did, so I'm thankful for that. Thanks, Japan Herping Channel. Uh, he says, which amphibian do you think is the funniest in your collection? It's almost impossible to say because I love them all. My, I think my favorite, the funniest ones, would be my Firebelly Toads. Because I've had them for so long and they've been such silly pets. I just love them to death and they're so silly. They fight and wrestle and make their creepy little sounds and they try and breed together since, but they're both males and they keep trying. I just think they're funny. But I think all my amphibians are uh, f very funny. Uh, some of them are funny looking. This white street frog, actually, what I said, we just got, is very funny. If you haven't seen one before, he's actually hiding. So don't move the camera. And he's actually hiding in the rock hide here. Uh, I'd like to show you to him, but I don't want to bug him. It is daytime, so I do not want to bug him. Uh, so my fourth question is. RJ Reptiles, and he says, do you ever want to get a reptile? Now, this is my amphibian boss channel. I keep amphibians, not reptiles. I do love all animals. If 
I have a pet dog too, but that's my whole family pet. Uh, if I wanted to get a reptile, I said someday in the future, not for my YouTube channel since I keep amphibians, not reptiles. And if someone requested me to get a reptile, I could consider it. Now, I do live in a house with my parents, and it's not up to me completely to get a reptile. So if it's possible for me to get one, uh, I would consider it. But I have to have someone request it, not just one person, but a lot of people to request it. Now, I have more questions here. Uh, those were four. Now I have two more. Actually, yeah, two more. And there's one more comment on this video that I'd like to um, share, I guess. Uh, this is from Daniel Pinelli. I think that's how you pronounce it. When did you start collecting amphibians? I think I started collecting amphibians when I was 15 now. I think three years ago, so either when I was 12 or when I was 11. Either one of those times, anyway. I think for my 10th birthday, I got an aquarium, which I kept fishing, and we redid my bedroom, repainted it and everything, so I had to take my fish out. And I only had two fish left, and I gave them to my brother. He had a little aquarium. So I put them in there, and then I just said, why don't I get something new? So I was looking for turtles and all these other cool things, but I decided on getting uh, Farley Toads, and that's when I first started collecting my amphibians, and I just... I have had a passion for amphibians, all animals, ever since I've been a kid, but I love collecting them now. Um, my next question, I have two questions from Roman Rainbow. The first question was, when was your first amphibian and rep... When was your first amphibian and reptile, and do you name them? If, what are they? Okay, I don't name my, actually, what, your first amphibian and reptile. Never had a reptile in my life, I'll just tell you that. And my first amphibian were my fiberly toads. I can just say that right off the bat. And do you name them if, what are they? Uh, now, this white street frog here, his name is, what's his name? Freddy. Freddy, Freddy the Frog. I'm not going to change his name, and I'm not going to call him a white street frog all the time. I'm going to call him Freddy, because the lady who kept him named him Freddy, so it seems fair to name him that. And my uh, Farbley Toads, I was younger then, so I did name my amphibians, and it's Murray and Celos. Don't ask why I call them that. It was just some, uh, just very creative of me when I was younger. Uh, everything else, I named them, stop creaking the bed. My brother's in here, sorry. Um, I just, I don't name my amphibians anymore. Uh, I get too, I have to get too attached to them. Not that I don't love them, I do love my amphibians, but I do get quite attached to them if I name them. And I just like calling them by their uh, common or scientific names. It just seems more fair. So I call my green tree frogs, green tree frogs, my firebelly newts, firebelly newts, or Chinese firebelly newts, and my Indonesian floating frog, it's an Indonesian floating frog. It's just what I call them. It does just made a habit out of it. And actually, my American toad, I got an American toad too. I call him American toad. I don't know if my brother wants to name him, but I'll call him American toad. And my last question is, when, when where do you, do you get your firebelly toads? This is another one from Roman Rainbow. He doesn't use capitals, and he doesn't, when he does U, he use, is a U, not Y-O-U. Uh, I hope you passed English, Roman Rainbow. I hope you passed English. Uh, or if you don't speak English, sorry, but I hope you, uh, I hope you passed your English class wherever you live. Uh, where do you get your Farley Toads? I got my Farley Toads at Cuga Pet Store. If you guys want to buy them there, I guess you can, but you're going to have to drive a long way. Uh, I live in a small town, and it's just one of the other towns next door. I actually work at the store in the feed store. Uh, we do 
feed and pet stuff and dog food and things like that. So I work in the feed store carrying bags out for farmers and things. I don't really work in the store. That's where I bought them. If you want to buy your Fireblade Toads there, go ahead. But if you live in the UK, you're going to have to fly all the way to Canada. So good luck with that. And my last comment on this video, it's not a question, but Rain Roman Rainbow, again, third comment on my video says, and you have over 100 subs. Yep. Thanks for telling me that. I already knew that. Um, I was at my cottage. Uh, I didn't have the time there to... I probably did have the time because it did rain a lot. But I didn't have my tripod for one. I didn't have anything to film for two. I didn't have my script for three. Uh, I did have Wi-Fi, but it wasn't on my iPod. I just had data on my dad's iPad and on my buddy's phone and stuff. So I could just like check on my YouTube channel once in a while, but I couldn't upload. So that's why I would have done it if I was here, but I didn't have the time, and yesterday I was working and things. So I'm trying to get this out to you guys right away. Those are all my questions. Thank you guys so much for being here for me. Uh, I really enjoyed being in the reptile and amphibian community. I met so many nice people, um, some really cool people. I have so many cool subscribers that I think have just helped my life so much more. And I've had so much fun with this YouTube channel. Uh, but thank you guys so much uh, for all the good times that I've had doing this. And I hope uh, 200 subscribers comes quick. And I hope I become really successful. And I hope you guys enjoy my videos. 100 subscribers is a lot to have in half a year. And I hope you guys actually do enjoy my videos. You're not just sympathizing for me and subscribing. So thanks so much, guys, for the third time. And as always... Peace.